welcome to Smoky CNC Woodworks. I'm Brian, and today, well, first off, you're going to notice a couple of things today. Now it's light outside. When I do start cutting on this stuff, it is nighttime. I did this last night uh, simply because it's been so hot. We have running anywhere from 90 to 100 degree tips, heat index up to 110, 115. And so last night it actually cooled off pretty good. And when I say cooled off, it got down into the low 80s which was awesome for here. And so I got over and I was, uh, you'll just see, I've did, did all the work, but you're gonna notice I'm wearing a different shirt in this video. I swap up, it's the next morning, and uh, I hadn't done any of the intro or anything last night. I just hurried out to the shop, started getting cutting, and just skipped all the other stuff until I could get to this point. So what we're doing today is a logo sign for Cross Timbers Bison. If you're not familiar with them, you need to run over and check them out after this video. Uh, this guy raises bison, and he's just got a huge ranch with a bunch of them on there. Now, where you are going to be familiar with him is, you remember a few videos back, I did the cabin signs. This guy's name's Dusty Baker. He and his wife also own cabins down by Lake Arbuckle. I'm making the signs to go on the front of the cabins. I'm just about done with them. All I'm doing now is polyurethane and stuff. And so I figured, well, you know, I told him I was going to do his logo for his YouTube. So when I turn over those signs, I'll turn over his YouTube channel sign too. He'll get them all at once and hopefully he likes it all. So that's what we're doing today. Another logo CNC. So let's go.
so that was it guys this thing came out pretty awesome the stain is still wet but that is his logo i thought all the detail on it came out just almost perfect this is straight from his uh file that he sent me for his logo generally when i do that stuff i go in and i reprogram all the text simply because if i can put a clean text on there it's not as hard for the machine to navigate to trim it or to cut it this however this i did reprogram this i could not i did not have this font it has that little highlight out to the edge so i just had to go with it that's why it really took kind of a weird cut pattern on this so you'll notice that it's the next day whenever i sanded it down and i am wearing a different shirt like i said before i painted it and I watched it dry for a little bit, and after about 30 minutes, I thought, my gosh, this stuff usually dries in like five minutes. Yeah, it was 82% humidity last night, and it was in the low to mid-80s. So I finally gave up and thought, well, I'll just come hit it in the morning. It's 84% humidity today, so I'm assuming the stain is probably going to take pretty much all day to dry. So I probably won't get this in polyurethane today. The joys of living in Oklahoma, what can I tell you? So guys, that's going to be it for this one. If you guys hadn't gone over and checked out Smokey Uncuffed over on YouTube and on my podcast, or you can just go to www.smokeyuncuffed.com and check out everything you want on there. Also, don't forget about Cross Timbers Bison. Run over and check him out. See what he's got going on with his buffalo today. Guy makes some amazing buffaloes, and he's got tons of them. And right now, it's cabin season, so he has lots of babies out there. Go check him out. So that'll be it this time, guys. If y'all haven't done so yet, please subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.